Good afternoon, fans. I'm back today with another cooking video. Today, I will be making buffalo rib tips. Stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna start by cutting them in bite-sized pieces. Just find the joint in between the bone. Just slice them accordingly. Just like that. Let's take them, I have another pan over here. I'm strainer, I'm gonna put them in here. I'm going to continue to cut all of the ones in the bowl here into bite-sized pieces. And this is a very simple recipe. I mean, we are used to the traditional way of eating ribs, grill, maybe back, or, or spare ribs. And we all have our own grilling seasoning or spices that we like to use. This recipe here is very simple. And you see I'll be using uh, garlic powder, onion, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and salt. That's all the seasoning that I'm gonna season this, these are ribs it with. And once I'm done cutting them into bite-sized pieces, I'm gonna place them in a boiler. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've uh, cut up all of the, the real chips into bite-sized pieces. I have two containers or two bowls. And at this point, I'm going to start adding, adding my seasoning. I'm going to start with uh, garlic powder. And I'm not going to measure this. I'm just going to eyeball it. You just season it to your liking. And I've been doing this for a while, so... I know just about how much I want to add to each bowl. Here's my garlic powder. Add it to both bowls. Plenty. Next, I'm going to add my onion powder. powder right there again I'm just eyeballing it next I'm gonna add some ground black pepper a bit more and with salt, you don't need a, a lot of salt because we are dealing with pork here, so just a little salt. That should be plenty. For a little heat, we're gonna add a little cayenne pepper. Next, I'm gonna mix this very well. I'm gonna mix it all together. Mix it very well, make sure that all pieces are evenly coated. Just like this. I'm using two bowls to kind of like to make it a little easier to coat and stuff so I do a big pan all together. And when I'm done uh, coating all the pieces, then I will incorporate both bowls into one. Now that bowl has already been mixed together. Now let's mix the other one here. Just like that. Now let's incorporate both bowls together. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cook this right away, so what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm actually going to cover this with foil 
and put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate overnight. And tomorrow, I will uh, continue making the buffalo rib tips. You don't have to let it marinate overnight if you don't want to, but I let mine marinate overnight so it can so all the flavor can have, can like marinate completely through all all of the rib tips in there. Stay tuned. My ribs have been marinating for about 36 to 48 hours. Now I'm gonna get ready to boil them, get them tender. Then I'm gonna defry them. Stay tuned. Okay, the real tips are boiling now. As soon as they get tender, we're gonna take them out, we're gonna strain them, we're gonna lightly fry them, and I'm gonna season them. Stay tuned for the finale. All right, there's the finished product. You got some garlic parmesan, some carrot, pepper, and jerk, lemon pepper, some sweet honey. This is a small recipe for buffalo real tips. Yeah. 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 you like. Barbecue. Lemon yeah. yeah. pepper. Yeah. 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 And garlic punch. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching. If you, like, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, press the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.